Good afternoon, my name is Garrett Coffey. I'm the agent for Ag and Natural Resources in Rockcastle County. This afternoon, we're doing our final video on breeding these heifers. We're actually going to AI them this afternoon. So right now, I've got one caught up in the chute. I just took the heat patch off of her. Uh, if I can find it here, I'll show you. Well, this is, this. it should be all red. So that's what they look like when they're busted and they're ready to breed. So we're breeding on a, a, a uh, heat detection but uh, we're also, there's different protocols that you can follow. There's time breedings, there's a lot of different stuff. So with any questions, make sure and call your local ag agent, get that figured out. So the, what I'm gonna do in this is this is a shot of GNRH. So I'm actually gonna give this to her uh, on this protocol. So I'm gonna go over here. This is intermuscular injection, two cc's. So I'm just gonna reach in there, give her that. All right, we've got her there. So I've got that done. The next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I've got my AI gun here. We're gonna get this loaded up. I've got my semen over here in this in this uh, thawing mechanism. Uh, that's at about 95 or 96 degrees. So my semen is in there thawing. I'm gonna take this gun. I'm gonna get this semen. This straw of semen. So I'm gonna pull that out. That's what that looks like. So I'm gonna shake that off. Make sure it's dry. Dry this out. The quicker that you can keep this more consistent on the temperature the better so i'm gonna load that up like this the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clip the end of it off just like that i'm gonna take my ai gun sheath i'm gonna slide that right up on there slide this down just like that where it locks all right so now my gun's loaded and ready so now i'm just gonna keep this warm keep that next to my body so i'm gonna lube up put some lube on my glove here i've got my sleeve on we're gonna palpate I'm gonna reach up in there, I'm gonna find her cervix, I'm gonna pass this rod through her cervix. And then I'll show you how to do that right here in just a minute. All right, so now I'm gonna go in the chute and I'm going to, I'm gonna palpate this cow, I'm gonna find her cervix, I'm gonna pass the AI rod through her cervix, and then we'll deposit the semen just, just outside the cervix. All right. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna move her tail off to the side. I'm gonna palpate her. I'm gonna reach up in here and I'm gonna sweep and I'm gonna find the cervix. All right, I've located the cervix and I've got it in my hand, all right? So the way that I usually hold the cervix is I hold it just like this with these three fingers and my thumb and then I can use this finger to guide my rod. All right, so I'm gonna pull my rod out and I'm gonna kind of go up at an angle that way we make sure and don't get down in the bladder. I'm gonna pass this rod up in there. We'll work this around, get it up in there. Sometimes you have to Stretch your reproductive track out a little bit to get everything lined up. So I'm gonna use this. Go up in here. All right, so now I'm at the end of the cervix. And I'm gonna work this rod around. And whenever you get to the end of the cervix, you can feel it. It's kind of got a rough texture to it as compared to everything else in there. All right, so now you've got it. You've got to line it up and pass it through the cervix. So I've got her at the end of her cervix. And now I'm using my pinky finger to guide my rod to the center of the cervix because that's where the opening is at for it, okay? So now we're gonna pass it through. All right, so now I've found it. And now there's about two or three folds in that cervix. So whenever I pass up through there, I can kind of feel that gun and it'll, it'll pop about two or three times. All right, so now I'm just on the other side of the cervix. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna deposit the semen slowly right there, just like that. Move my rod, remove my hand, and she should be bred to a Her Hereford bull, easy calving, and uh, hopefully in about nine months we'll have a calf. Any questions on any of the stuff that we've done, any of the protocols, setting these heifers up, cows or whatever, it all works the same. Just let us know. Thanks for tuning in.